hey guys welcome back to my channel my name is akosia if you're new you're welcome if you're a 10 subscriber thank you so much for always coming back i love you in today's video as you can tell by the title i'm going to be doing a marriage q a with you guys um you guys wanted me to do a video about marriage and my experience so far with my two-year marriage <laughs> and i also asked you guys to send me some questions just so that i don't sit here and just rumble and you did so i'm gonna be answering those questions in this video so please keep on watching if this is a video that you want to watch please keep on watching turn on the bell button so you don't miss any upload i always do this when i say turn on the bell button but please give, give, give this video a thumbs up you know it helps with the algorithm it helps the channel grow give the video a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't already done that turn on the bell button and give a comment because that's the only way you can grow. So first things first, please grab something. You know if it's a chit chat video, we gotta drink something. We gotta drink something, okay? <laughs> now what happened is, I'm supposed to do this video anyway, but I wanted you guys to send me a few questions just so it will direct my like video, just so that I don't sit here and rumble about everything about my age because I didn't want to do that. So you guys were kind enough to send me a few questions a handful and i'm happy because then the video is going to be very fast and to the point so i'm just going to be going through the questions answering the questions and then telling you guys anything that i have to tell you about the question or like about my life and marriage and anything um so yeah so um before i even get into the questions let me give you guys a little backstory on me and my husband my husband and i be, we've been married for almost two years now but we've been dating for four to five years now i mean we've been date we were dating and then we got married you know so the whole pro the whole overall it's like four to five years now so um and i've known him also for a while so that is a little backstory um we got married as a very young couple in our 20s basically my husband is literally almost 30 right now and i'm almost 26 so that's like that's what it is so we're a young couple we have a child we have one child beautiful daughter i yeah <laughs> so far it's been amazing it's been an amazing journey my husband is an amazing man let me just put that out there before i get into the question okay so the first question says that what's the toughest thing you've been through together this question is so touching it's like touching my heart <laughs> the toughest things or the toughest thing we've been through together you know honestly let me just let you guys know that me and my husband we've been through so many tough times together i can't even count just one like i can't pick one and then tell you that this was the toughest as a couple as a couple or like for our relationship you know and i see for our relationship we've always been like buddies like he's been my friend he's been like my brother like we relate on that kind of level like funny we laugh and then we're, we're a couple and then we're parents you know like it's like that so um everything that is tough that comes our way is basically life happenings you know like financial happenings or maybe job happenings you know like but with our relationship in itself something that is so tough i really i'm trying to like this because anything that is so tough will be like tough enough to kind of want to split you guys apart we haven't gotten there <laughs> like we've never gotten to a level where something is so tough that we can't we can't get through it one thing that my husband and i started doing at the beginning of our relationship was basically solving every issue that we had before the next day sometimes it's hard to do that because sometimes like the ego is too much and you just don't want to solve the issue especially for me as a woman um but one thing that we incorporated in our relationship was basically trying to solve problems before the next day just so that we don't take it into the next day that was our goal that was our plan because we knew that um things like that happen things like that break people off and stuff so we always talk about things we always make sure that we're solving problems we never i don't think if it's if it's something about life if it's something about maybe our finances our job yes we have had a few tough moments but none of them like shook us you know <laughs> like we're a strong couple we're a very strong couple we're a strong couple. life is hard <laughs> but we're a strong couple um the second question is were there 
unusual habits you noticed once you start you started living together unusual habits once you started living together okay also about that <laughs> before me and my husband actually got married to become husband and wife we were literally always almost always together <laughs> almost always together like we're almost always living together we're living together we did that whole courting thing so i lived with him for a good part he knows me i know him i know literally all his ins and outs he knows all my ins and outs. my husband is one of the people that i'm very vulnerable when i'm around like i allow myself to be vulnerable because i opened up myself for it and he did the same as well um so i don't think that and you know let me also just add this let me also just add this as a person you will definitely have uh, growing up i grew up in a whole different home he grew up in a whole different home you know so there will definitely be things that things that when you come together you feel like i didn't see this when i was growing up but there are not things that are like so unusual like things that you can't wrap your mind around you know there are things that you can't you can't wrap your mind like why are you doing this like why would you do this but no He's an Akan, I'm an Akan, you know, like, he was raised by his mom, you know, like, basically, I don't think that there's anything so unusual, maybe except for the fact that my husband is a weirdo, my husband is like a very big weirdo, he doesn't go out, doesn't do so much social media, you know, like, all of that stuff, maybe, but it's not unusual because there are people who are like that. And I actually like him like that, <laughs> you know, so I don't think that there is anything. I don't want to say that I don't think that there's anything unusual, but as of now, I can't think of anything unusual. My third question says that, do you get upset sometimes with him? Of course, who doesn't? <laughs> a thousand and one times. A thousand and one times as a woman. Let me even use myself as a woman. When I'm PMSing, I get angry over literally almost everything. I'm naturally also the kind of person that if I can't wrap my mind around something, it just annoys me. You know, like when I tell you to put something here, if you don't put it there, I will say like 5,000 times. And my husband knows me by now. My husband knows me. <laughs> like he knows me that I will say it. <laughs> you know, like I will just say it. Babe, you see or not, this year, I will just say it you know like i won't i won't hide it i'm not the type of person to hide things if 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 you do something to me and i'm not telling you then i don't care about you i really can't be bothered about you like in my life i don't consider you a person but my husband i consider him my husband the father of my kids and stuff like that so um i try as much as possible to show him every part of me which i have over the years so we've grown to become so used to each other um i yes i definitely do get upset sometimes at the things at some of the things i've tried to remember something that i'll get upset <laughs> i don't know i can't remember anything but yes i get upset i definitely get upset i get upset at, about a lot of things um the next question is from the person who said that i shouldn't mention her name i guess she's a her um she says that finances in marriage show relationships Please don't show my name. I don't know why I added that. Um, but finances, this is the whole video that I want to like work on. It's a whole fucking video that I want to work on. But talking about finances in, a, in marriage, I think I honestly believe that finances in marriage is different from finances in just a regular relationship. You know, a relationship, a marriage, I mean, marriage as well as a relationship you guys are still doing the relationship still growing the relationship still getting to know each other each and every passing day um but with just regular relationship i don't think that people look so much into finances i don't know i don't know but when you get married everything changes obviously when you have kids everything changes so finances um i'm gonna do a video let me just say that i'm gonna do a video on finances and how you and your partner should do your finances and stuff like that or like what is the best way to do it you know like i'm just gonna do a video on on it pretty later um but finances in marriage is depending on the relationship that you have with your husband or de depending on the foundation that you guys came up with let me just put that there depending on the basis that you guys have always had i think it's always going to stay as 
as that the basis for me and my husband has always been we support each other so when i have money i'm gonna do whatever i want to do for him and i don't care when i love you that's how that's how i am <laughs> that's basically what i do um and he as well when he has money he makes sure that he does everything but for the most part obviously the man takes care of the house not like you know when we're in the whole modern world you know so it's not like the olden days type of taking care of the house you know um but the man men are men they like to feel like men they like to do stuff like men so they like to pay a lot more stuff than and even with women no matter how much money you have you still want to spend a little bit of your husband's money you know like i like to feel like a baby like that and then just you know but um i feel like whatever finances you guys have from the beginning of your relationship or whatever basis that you have is what will grow into your marriage and when kids come in when extra bills come into the picture and everything um if you guys don't have a strong finances it's definitely going to affect your relationship and your communication and everything but everything is also communication so make sure that you guys are communicating back and forth make sure that if you need to say something to him say it to him and then yeah so i finances with my husband amazing we don't have any financial problems as as a couple no i'm not saying that like in life we don't have any financial problems obviously everybody does but i'm saying as a couple we don't argue about money we don't do that stuff no because we've always like money is money you know that's my one concept that my husband has money is money like we use that now we used to like if you want to buy wine just buy wine you know sometimes when i want to buy something and i'm feeling some way about it, my husband will be like you worked for it buy it <laughs> you can afford it buy it or oh, we have the money to buy it buy it you know like i think my finances with my husband is okay our uh, finances is okay like we don't argue about money we don't argue about who's paying what you know like we don't argue about stuff like that who's paying what or no 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 we just sit down talk about it this time you have this so you're paying this this time you are doing this this time you're doing this and we both agree we both understand because we're a couple and we love each other so that's it and then the last but one question says that how do you settle issues or arguments with your husband issues or arguments okay let me take my time and break this one down say we have something we have a little banter we usually don't but say we do because i'm then i'm a natural i'm the kind of person that naturally doesn't like to do back and forth with people you know except if it's like a regular argument like school argument stuff like that you know like religion racism all of that stuff i could argue about it because then at the end of the day nobody's going to feel hurt about it but when it comes to emotional argument and how to get out of it usually um if it's his fault obviously he comes around if it's my fault i go around but one thing with us too is i hate to see him quiet for a long time and he hates to see me quiet for a long time we're literally always together and not not to make it look any any kind of way but I'm the only friend he has not the only when, when I say only you know it's not like only only friend but here in this country right now we basically don't have any friends so when he gets back from work he's with me literally the whole day then we go to bed we wake up the next day. we've been doing this since we started dating since we started dating we've always been together we've always like done everything together so solving arguments has not been so much of a problem you know like you will never hear us arguing on top of our voices like no 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 there's so much for me i naturally like peace of mind and he as well he loves peace of mind i adore peace of mind so we always try and have like that but when we have arguments and even if sometimes it's not his fault or my fault i'll still just going and then say baby and chess roll you know like let's just forget about everything and we just move forward you know like yeah i go and then i tell him you know let's forget about everything let's just move forward sometimes he just come babe i'm sorry i think i was angry at that time when i was i was feeling like that so i'm sorry forget everything that happened let's just forget it and move on he does that too a lot um yeah basically that's how we solve it. we don't have i don't think that we have a problem with 
who is going to approach who when there's a problem no somebody would definitely approach somebody it's not me it's him because i don't like like i'm not i, I don't like a car car all those things no like it's too much for me if i'm not doing it with you i'm not doing it if you're not my friend you're not my friend if i don't like you i don't like you if i don't have time for you i don't have time for you if i'm not going to let you into my space i'm not going to let but once i let you into my space once i say that i'm going to open up for you i really am going to open up for you and that's just who i am so yeah relationships are cute they are stressful but they are cute let me just say that they are stressful if if you are the kind of person you're like me you want peace of mind every day like you wish every day was a smooth day it's not like that let me just let you people understand that it's not like that in marriage <laughs> marriage is a situation where you're living with one person for the rest of your entire life so anything 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 can just come up you know like you guys will have arguments so, so it's not always a smooth ride you won't always be like lovey-dovey sometimes there's no lovey-dovey <laughs> you know deep down that you love this person this person knows deep down that they love you but life is too hard can't be loving <laughs> we can't be loving right <laughs> you know what i mean so uh marriage is beautiful I, i'm always saying this marriage is beautiful when you do it with the right person if you do it with that person that you know that this person i can do it with this person for a long time like i can tolerate this person i can do it you know and that is that was it for me i had to make a decision i'm pretty sure same as him he had to make a decision as well um, I had to ask myself if you want to do this with him for your entire life and there was no no's for me Like it was just a yes. 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 I knew for a fact that I wanted to be with this guy That's why I went into it in the first place So I'll just tell you that um, if you're not so sure of your partner whoever you're with don't rush into marriage Don't let the current generation rush you into marriage. Don't let anything rush you into marriage. Trust me <laughs> You don't want to go into it and just get out I, it's something that I never wanted to do, you know, I'd rather be single than like just get into a marriage and get out of the marriage You know, you want to make sure that it's working for you, even though things happen. Let me just say that things happen Unexpected things happen. You don't know what can what may or may not happen um, but <laughs> if you do it with the right person my love and you have good energy he has good energy you both are putting good energy in the marriage and you both know where you want to go if you guys don't see a future together is it are you are you people still dating <laughs> people need to see a future together right from your relationship even before you get into the marriage so yeah about solving the arguments that was a long explanation but yeah the last question that i have here is not a question per se and it's not even about my marriage <laughs> not is it about marriage she's saying that so my boyfriend broke up with me and ended up in another relationship really quick if your boyfriend breaks up with you and gets into another relationship immediately bitch he was either with a girl already he was either with a girl already before breaking up with you one I think that's the only thing <laughs> two he didn't like you three he grew out of love for you maybe I don't believe that somebody can like just oh, right now our generation is so weird a lot of things are happening a lot of people are doing different things you know so you can't say for a fact um, but if your boyfriend leaves you for another girl immediately almost immediately then obviously he didn't love you or he and the girl were together before he even left you and then yeah that's it who <laughs> oh, talking is so stressful sometimes when you have to catch your breath in between but yeah I'm happy that I could do this video if you guys want me to do maybe another version of this video where you send in a lot more questions and then I answer I'd love to do that um, but I'll also do a video about finances in general and people's take on finances and everything like that so definitely be on the lookout for that one as well i hope you guys like this video i hope you grabbed something because i haven't been able to finish my glass um but yeah thank you guys so much for watching i love you i'll see you guys in my next video if you got my number don't add me because baby i'm a high